What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. If you're not familiar with that podcast, go ahead and search it on whatever platform you listen to podcasts on. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, doesn't matter where you listen to podcasts at. The Real Deal with Damian Adams is available there. It's real sports talk for the real sports fans. So go ahead and search The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Put the full thing and you will enjoy it, all right? Today I want to come to you with my real take of the week, which will basically just be me doing my predictions on this weekend's wildcard matchups. All right. So the first matchup, which I call the Houston Texans Invitational, is that first matchup of wildcard weekend seems to always involve the Houston Texans. Now, of course, it's not always. They don't make the playoffs every year. But you know what I mean. So the Houston Texans are hosting the Buffalo Bills this year. Very good matchup. Very interesting. Houston has an X factor, right? And you could say well, every team has an X factor, but Deshaun Watson is more than just your normal X factor. He's somebody who can change the game single-handedly. Even if you have a great defense that's always in position, he can make something out of nothing. And when you have somebody like that in a playoff game, it's always very, very important to not take that for granted when you're making these predictions. But with that being said, Buffalo, good running game. Very good defense, if not great. They have a quarterback who's getting better and better each and every week. I really like Buffalo, man. I like them a lot in this matchup. I think they'll be able to keep Deshaun Watson off the field as much as possible to minimize his impact on the game, minimize uh, D-Hop's impact on the game as well. Uh, if J.J. Watt comes back in this game, They'll have some impact, but I don't believe that much if Buffalo Bills are able to run the ball the way that they have shown during the process of the season. So I got Buffalo winning this game 24-20. Heard here first, Buffalo 24-20. For the next matchup, we got New England on wildcard weekend for the first time in a good minute. They are hosting the Tennessee Titans. It's another one that I'm looking forward to, man. For Buffalo, or excuse me, for Tennessee... They want to run the rock. They want to run the rock, and then they want to come at you with play action, Tannehill throwing over the top. And that formula's been working. Obviously, since Tannehill has joined as a starting quarterback, they have taken off, especially in second halves of games, right? And for the Patriots, you know, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt when it comes to a playoff game with them being able to come in with a better strategy, better coaching, defensive strategy, all that good stuff. But I don't think they have the horses to win on just strategy like they have had in the past. And with the lack of weaponry on offense, with their defense being good but not great. Like, they fooled us earlier in the year. We thought this might have been an all-time great defense. It's good, but it's not great. And their defense is susceptible to the run. We've seen teams like even the Cleveland Browns have success against them running the ball. Tennessee will have Derrick Henry running that rock, which will open up the passing game for Tannehill. I got Tennessee with the upset. Yes, I got the New England Patriots falling on wild card weekend to the Tennessee Titans. I'm going to go Tennessee Titans 27, New England Patriots 24. For the next matchup, we go to the NFC on Sunday. We have the Saints. Who that? Said they're going to beat them Saints. Hosting the Minnesota Vikings. It is the the Minnesota Miracle revenge game. And I think the Saints easily get their revenge in this one. I don't trust Kirk Cousins in big time matchups. We know his record when it comes to Monday Night Football, prime time, record against teams that are over 500. We all know these, these stats. And for Minnesota, their strength is running the ball. They want to run the rock and then have Kirk Cousins come in after that. You know, it's kind of finish you off. The Saints defense, their strength is stopping the run, right? And with the addition of Janoris Jenkins, along with Marshawn Lattimore in that secondary, I think that once we establish that that run's going to be stopped and you're going to have to use Kirk Cousins to beat us, the Saints will win the game. The Saints will be able to get up early as Minnesota's defense isn't what it was in past years, especially in the secondary. I think Michael Thomas will have a field day. And the Saints win this game going away 
28-13. For the last matchup, we got Philadelphia, Holstein, Seattle. Philadelphia is beat up. They won a division in which, you know, they won by default pretty much. And Seattle, even with that loss against San Francisco last night, looks good, right? They In that second half, they were starting to come back. You can see them moving the rock. The run game started to come alive for them in the second half. I can see them going into Philadelphia and winning this matchup and it not being close. You know, Carson Wentz against good defenses tends to tense up. And I have the Seahawks beating the Eagles. I'm going to go 27-17. All right, so for my recap of my Wild Card Weekend picks, I got Buffalo over Houston, Tennessee over New England, Saints over Vikings, and I got Seahawks over Eagles. All right, if you think I'm crazy, please leave your comment in the section below. If you think that I'm brilliant, please leave that comment in the section below as well, all right? And until next time, go real or go home.